Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. Today's topic is an interesting topic, drug suffixes for nurses. Before entering into the topic, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Let's get into the topic. Suffix generally means a letter or a group of letter that is added at the end of a word that may change the meaning of the word or the way it is used. Today's topic is about drug suffixes with the help of which we can identify the group that the drug belongs to. First one are the anti-anxiety agents. The drugs end with the suffix PAM. For example, clonazepam, diazepam, fluorazepam, lorazepam, etc. Next comes anticoagulants that ends with suffix parin and ace. Example are heparin, enoxaparin, etc. Next comes the drugs antihistamines that ends with suffix ein. Example diphenhydramine and chlorpheniramine. Next comes antihyperlipidemics which ends with suffix statin. Examples are atovastatin, simvastatin, loastatin, etc. Next comes antibiotics that may end with suffix cycline, silin, mycin. Examples are doxycycline, amoxicillin, clindamycin. Next comes antiviral that may end with suffix ver and ein. Examples are acyclovir, zidovudin, etc. Next comes the drug antiepileptics or anticonvulsants that may end with suffix pam and toin. Examples are clonazepam, diazepam, phenytoin, etc. Next comes the drug antidepressants that may end with suffix thiolin, ein, pram. Examples are amitriptyline, cetraline, citalopram, etc. Next comes the group antihypertensives under which comes ACE inhibitors which ends with suffix pril. Examples are captopril, enalapril, lisinopril, etc. Next comes the group bronchodilators that ends with suffix brol, lin. Examples are albuterol, dirifilin, aminophilin, etc. Next comes the drug beta adrenergic blockers, which ends with suffix olol. Examples are atinolol, metaprolol, betoxolol, etc. Next comes the drug benzodiazepines with the suffix olam and pam. Examples are alprazolam, lorazepam, etc. Next comes corticosteroids with the suffix son. Examples are dexamethasone, hydrocortisone. Now comes calcium channel blockers with the suffix pen and ein. Examples are amlodipine and nifidipine. Next comes the drugs diuretics with the suffix i and tone. Examples are furosemide, torsemide, spironolactone, etc. Next comes local anesthetics with suffix cane. Example, lidocaine. Next comes the group antacid or proton pump inhibitors with suffix azo. Example, pantoprazole, rabiprazole, etc. Here you go with the list of drug suffixes that helps to identify the group that the drug belongs to. If you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.